Philippines, this is the remaining question. This question is for you. Your question is, let's make believe that all of a sudden, this is a perfect question for her. Let's make believe that all of a sudden you had a million dollars. <laughs> What's the first thing you would buy and why would you buy it? A house and lot. Because <laughs> it's the most expensive thing and I can't afford it. So if I had a million bucks, I'll buy a house and lot and live by myself <laughs> and other people, of course. Thank you very much, Miss Philippines. Well, it's been 40 years. It's good on the minds about time, no? We hope that we have a winner this time. Well, I was very young. I was 19, but uh, even but at 19, I felt that I was well prepared to join it because I was a model, I was a performer, I was I was a dancer, and just like Janine now is a dancer and a performer, I performed at the CCP on several uh, musical uh, performances. So it, it gave me confidence to face an audience. Mm -hmm. It gave me the poise that the, uh, I learned how to project myself mm -hmm. and capture the stage, just like what they say, you capture the audience by, you know, by filling up the stage with your presence. Mm -hmm. So I learned that and I think that that really helped me mm -hmm. um, because uh, during those times, um, it was, you know, we didn't have social media, there were no cell phones, there was just really no online nothing, no online voting. It's 40 years ago, mm -hmm. and you were in an ancient city called Greece, Athens, Greece. <laughs> so, I, I, uh, it was, it was very different then, uh, also because the focus of the, the pageant was to beam satellite to New York. Mm -hmm. So we had to, to make sure that New York gets it at prime time. It's really, um, it's something that's meant for you. Mm -hmm. It's just like, you know, uh, winning. Uh, it's, it's really a chance because there's no way that you can really work at it. I mean, you, you, could, you do the best you can. But, and if you're, you know, um, I don't know, there's, to me, there's no formula. Mm -hmm. There's no formula. It just happens by chance. Um, let me give you an example. I only read this um, after the a year after the pageant when one of the escorts um, wrote a book. She was Puerto Rican and she wrote a book about um, the different candidates that she was watching. And one of them was, the last one was me because she, she ended her book with me, that during the judging, one of the judges was El Cordobes was a very famous then bullfighter of Spain. He was a judge, he couldn't speak a word of English. And he didn't have a second look at me um, previously in the first meeting and all that, but in the interview, when he, and she was the interpreter, so he started speaking, in, uh, he, he um, asked the question in Spanish to the interpreter to, for me to, to answer in English. When I spoke, I spoke to him in Spanish. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it just so happened that he's there, you know, and, I, and he was a Spaniard and I could speak Spanish because there was a French judge and I couldn't speak French. Okay. <laughs> so, it, you know, uh, he, of course he was impressed, right? Mm -hmm. So he, he took a second look. So things like that, it just, you know, it's just, uh, uh, it just happens. Um, it's the same as, as it was ever since, you know. What, what even surprised me was when I was, because I had to live in New York and I traveled, you know, part of my contracts, I had to travel and promote something in the, uh, different parts of the United States. And um, the beauty queen, it's just really a stepping stone, I think, to be a beauty queen. You know, uh, people use it as a stepping stone for something bigger because it gives you, if you win, or, but even if you don't win, because you meet a lot of people, it's you're, if you're intelligent, you can network, you can meet the right people, it will open doors for you like it did to me up to this day. People know me. So I, it's the introduction, the introduction portion is, is easier. <laughs> but you know, you have to work at it. It's not something that comes automatically. You have to earn your credibility as well. Whether you're an actress, whether you're an NGO worker, whether you're a, an artist, 
you have to work at your credibility so that people the doors will open for you. Uh, she has to she has to you know a good, to be a good reader, um, read current events because it will, you will be at ease when the question is asked of you. Um, you will be it will you will feel confident you can answer something because you won't know the question till the end, mm. till the, till that moment. Mm. So if you are confident that you know what's going on around the world, mm. it it will give you a little confidence to it will give you a lot of confidence to answer the questions correctly, mm. because you'll be under stress. Mm. So that's the test eh, that you'll be answered you will answer the question completely under stress. <laughs> Janine, I just wish you the best of luck and uh, just take advantage of where you're going to be in Las Vegas and make friends uh, among the pageants. And, but um, what is the most important there is that you are representing the Philippines and be proud of that, win or lose. Because well, however you come out, if you project yourself well, if you did well, the Filipinos will be, still be proud of you.